usually it's into the one that's other. So she's a, because the skull is such an archetypal image, and if each one is an so individual, personalized, it's personalized, yeah. and that's quite an, an extraordinary thing to manage. To bring this, you know, the, um, what Ness is saying that uh, in a way these these images of a skull are are like a a general uh, image or archetype, but that they have been personalised, and in a way skulls have become high fashion uh, images from Hearst and, and onwards, and so they very often are just used as a as a kind of as a sign. Um, but I think in, in Brenner's work there is this incredible personal negotiation of the image which uh, is an investigation rather than just capturing the, the sign of the skull. Yeah, I think it's, it's investigation but it's also a personal yes, relationship it's with that. Pers because thing. science, what science has done is it has um, it's interested in the universal, it's interested in the archetype, so that you, the forms become generalized. So the skull is the typical skull that then stands for all the skulls, speci the speci specimen. Whereas what she does, she doesn't specimenize neither her portraits nor her, nor her skulls.